We exist within a certain reality. There are two approaches to perception of reality. One approach is a scientific one, that through our senses and more instruments we are building in order to expand our senses in depth, in width. We are attaining reality that is given to us to feel in five corporeal senses or animalistic, um, so-called, that is also uh, available in animals, that we can feel. Meaning, observing reality as it is, appearing in our senses, this is called a science. The basis of science is philosophy, right? Philosophy is an approach man's approach it's not like philosophy nowadays that's becoming uh, like a, a derogative word uh, that there's uh, nothing uh, below it, no, no real, real foundation below it, yeah, underneath it rather philosophy as it was at the time hence it called PhD like uh, uh, doctor of philosophy uh, being the, the basis of all science so don't connect it to the nowadays philosophy so here the Zohar speaks of a philosophical approach meaning scientific approach of each and every person to the world and the life in this world to his desire to receive to his desire to bestow to the creator, to the creatures, to everything however in a healthy manner what's in human's mind in, in man's feeling whatever can be there and this approach is called philosophy an approach that cannot be contradicted it is uh, we are feeling we are seeing we are examining we are measuring it is all um, good and nice exists before us and there is another approach if that philosophy the, is a science suddenly crosses the boundaries of uh, and start talking about things that aren't perceived in our senses it stops being a science it becomes kind of a mystic um, something of what nowadays we are calling philosophy meaning with no basis without any uh, examination, practical examination there as a matter of fact beyond our senses when we begin to talk of where life comes from what is happening before birth and after death what is happening with the system of providence and, uh, and supervision with the upper force etc. There there is no science meaning no philosophy it doesn't take control and is not even allowed to talk about it it's not even its place well there is the place of the wisdom of Kabbalah because it develops in us and I'm saying again that it is a science but for those who develop within him in the, within them a additional an additional senses and in those senses examining researching and arranging out of his research a new science a new wisdom an additional one beside our five senses that we are developing uh, from within them uh, different types of science accordingly we have uh, additionally the wisdom of Kabbalah humanity is evolving and once by its five senses discover all that is possible to discover all that is possible until it sees that all that it comes to is all in all bring it to a crisis breaking a broken vessel this is our life and then it begins to uh, touch to, to test yes, that there is something here we can take into account that we don't know 
uh, whom are we with in contact who is managing us why is that happening what kind of things are happening etc we need additional data from the place we are in from the state we are in it does additional data aren't revealed to us in our five senses what can we do and then there is development of mysticism and uh, religions of all types and faiths and uh, all that happens here in our days. Yes, that's on the one hand. As, um, somehow we are searching what can be done, what can we be aided by. And on the other hand, already the wisdom of Kabbalah is revealed as needed. Right? And it invites humanity to get to know that reality that in our five senses we can't perceive. However, should we develop the additional sense? Not an additional sense like to the other five senses, like uh, hearing, sight, touching, etc. The smell. Rather, it is a different approach. Not that I swallow within me and examine everything within me. Rather, I can go out, out of me, and not be dependent at all on my body, on my will, that depicts that desire, that body to me. Rather, I go out of it, exit it, and examine reality as it is. And then I don't see the bodies, and then I don't see reality as I see through my five senses. And the world is uh, the light of itself. This is what the wisdom of Kabbalah is talking about. However, also speak in the same manners as philosophy. However, define very clearly. This is the part of philosophy, meaning scientific. I refer to the philosophy as a basis of, of science, not as it become a few hundreds of years ago something that is uh, just philosophizing. So, the wisdom of Kabbalah is a continuity of sense, however, towards an area where our senses aren't, aren't uh, revealing, aren't acting. <laughs>